God bless and welcome back to the triage room, Jehovah Rapha, where sin is the sickness and Christ is the cure. The title of this video is called The Last Days Control and Compliance. Now, my reasoning for calling it uh, The Last Days Control and Compliance are these Many governments and authorities around the world have began using the COVID 19 pandemic as justification uh, for exerting or implementing new legislation that have began to adversely uh, affect its population. Now some have done it covertly while some have just blatantly gone ahead and just implemented uh, new le legislation, uh, control and compliance measures um, without any sort of uh, consultation without a vote it has pushed it through um, their various parliaments or governments now you might be asking or saying well Stephen we are post COVID or we're in the midst of a pandemic so governments should have these sorts of powers um, at their disposal I, I wouldn't say no um, there are times when governments don't need to consult or request a vote or a referendum to do certain things that's why we put them in power um, and there are responsible people in government um, that have our best interests at hand so in that regard I, I would agree but we live in an age where not everyone in government is transparent or have our best interests at hand there are some people some some scrupulous people in government in power whose sole purpose is for themselves um, they desire nothing more than to have uh, the power over us their subjects to control us to manipulate us uh, to lie to us uh, to extract as much cash as they can out of us um, to, to make us live constantly in fear. Now, what I'm going to say next is not being a conspiracy theorist. I truly believe that many governments, as I've said in my opening entry, um, around the world are using COVID as a launching pad for their own agendas. They really, really don't care about the COVID-19 pandemic or its effects they're using that as reasoning now um, to implement their own agendas and you find that in certain places you can't or limited to use cash you now been uh, required to use your credit cards or your debit cards um, that in itself creates an audit trail um, certain streets that i was I, I used to drive down are now being blocked off um cameras are in places where cameras cameras were never were, were never there before um so we've been controlled where we go where we where we how long we can stay there for um governments at a whim can change how many of us can meet together um how long we can stay um in, in a place for for instance a a a, a a restaurant for some people a pub you know a social club or gym you know we have been control 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 um, governments even in liberal countries now have these powers and they're flexing their muscles and you think why are they doing this you know um, again using uh, COVID-19 as justification you know but if you begin to read between the line the, 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 the lines there is a darker force at work I truly believe that there is a darker force at work um, if you read your Bible you'll see that we are living in hence the reason for the title of this video the last days um, nothing around us should be taken uh, lightly um, don't be superficial and say oh you know it's because of COVID they're doing this as I've said there are re responsible people in government but there are also some people whose motives are dark and evil they are dark and evil. The Bible says the, the devil is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And he has people in strategic places, you know, doing his bidding as we speak. I believe um, 
at this time there are some people in governments around the world some people in power at this world at this time sorry who are preparing the ground preparing the ground tilling the ground for the arrival of the antichrist for the mark of the beast now i was having this discussion this discussion with someone and they were saying if any government or authority was to bring in the mark of the beast say tomorrow they would push back they would say no they would organize uh, protest marches and you know the rallies and you know and no doubt many millions of people around the world will do the same thing christians and non-christians alike will say no we are not taking any mark of the beast uh, we don't care if it was implemented overnight but the enemy is not implementing such a, a, a thing overnight what he's doing as i've said is preparing our minds preparing us over a longer period of time for the mark of the beast to be implemented preparing us over a longer period of time for the antichrist to be revealed it's scriptural now take this example if someone was getting ready to run a, a marathon a marathon is about 26 miles no one in their right minds would go straight into a marathon without training some people would do a mile here five miles there some would do half a marathon in preparation in conditioning their bodies to do the 26 miles it's the same principle here i believe some unscrupulous people in government in places of power are preparing the hearts and the minds of its subjects over a long period of time little by little through one legislation here another one here you know slowly preparing us controlling and making us compliant so when the antichrist is revealed we are already softened it's a bit like grooming we've already been groomed to receive him we've already been groomed to receive the mark of the beast upon us upon our forearms upon our foreheads so it is a grooming it is a conditioning, hence the reason I call it control and compliance. They want us to become compliant to their rule, compliant to, to their new legislation, to be compliant so we are ready and we are open to receive the Antichrist and the mark of the beast when it happens. Don't take everything you see on, on, on face value. There are, as I said, there are dark forces behind the scenes at work right now preparing the hearts the minds conditioning controlling and making us become compliant so when the antichrist takes the stage we'll applaud when the mark of the beast is, and that will be legislation by the way you know when the legislation says take the mark of the beast upon your arm or upon your forehead people being lining up in queue saying i want it now I want it first just like they're getting us ready for the vaccine again i won't become a conspiracy theorist and say the vaccine has this or the vaccine has that i don't know but the environment is 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 conducive uh to implement all these different things using the backdrop of covid19 many many things are being speeded up that are revealed in revelation as i always say you know um share this video as good as many people as you can keep your focus and your eyes on jesus stay in the word stay in the word when you stay in the word the enemy will not be able to pull the wool over your eyes and lead you down a dark dark dangerous path may god bless you may god keep you until next time god bless god bless dear viewer if you've been challenged by this message and would like to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations, you've been born again. My advice to you would be to find a Bible-believing fellowship to continue your walk with God. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until next time.